Another male cherry-faced meadowhawk. I believe I can't see the face too well. Yeah, I think that's what he is. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool, man. He's a dude. All right. Here's a female common pond hawk. The males are blue and the females are green. Really neat green. I can't even tell if I got this one in the... There it is, right there. Is... Oh, it looks like it might be another female pond hawk. Common pond hawk. It's a nice dragonfly. Zoom in a little bit and see if we can... Here's a nice dragonfly. Probably a female 12 spotted skimmer. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. Here's a male 12 spotted skimmer. There we go. You can see the, actually the 12 spots are the 12 black spots. It used to be known as a 10 spotted skimmer for 10 white spots. Closer. There we go. Now we got a male widow skimmer took his place. And he's over here. There's the widow skimmer. And there's the 12 spotted skimmer. You can see there's a difference. There's another, what appears to be a female 12 spotted skimmer. Got a good wingspan on it. Here's a nice little female widow skimmer who likes her perch. Let's see if we can get up close to her. There she is. She's very happy right there. Here's a male common whitetail. Let's see if we can zoom in on him for your viewing pleasure. He's got black bands on his wings, like a female widow skimmer kind of. He's got a white tail, white abdomen. A male widow skimmer, back by the Sinclair Bridge in his favorite spot. He loves this little twig. This little dried up leaf of grass, actually. Any information you'd like to divulge about yourself, your age? What you think of Austin? Did you eat Spam? Would you eat Spam? Spam eater. Get up next to him without the zoom, see how he looks. That's a nice shot. Here's a male white faced metal hawk. Got a nice white face. There's a monarch butterfly coming in and chase him. There he is again. He's watching the camera. 
Around. Nice little white-faced meadowhawk. Sometimes you can hypnotize these guys. Mosquito, I can't stand that. Okay, here's a common green darner. Let's see if he comes over and I can get him up close. There he is, right there. These guys never sit still very long, so I'm surprised I got this guy in film. Here's a new dragonfly. A real nice one. It's that one with the amber wingtips. Or amber along the leading edge of the wing. I checked over my book, and it's a female variegated meadowhawk. It's the shyest of all, just about the shyest of all dragonflies. Uh, Kurt Mead, Minnesota's expert, claims that they seem to possess a level of telepathy. Here's a neat spread wing damselfly. He might be a, a lair tipped, and he might be a uh, sweet fly. He might be something. Yeah, I think he's a lair tipped. Yeah, that's what it's looking like to me. Here you go. Yeah, good job. Here's a blue form bluette. Kind of a pretty little guy. This is an eastern forktail damselfly. It's the only Minnesota damselfly with a green thorax and a blue tip to its tail. Pretty nice little guy. They're extremely hard to photograph. I'm hoping that I can keep it in, that it comes in focus here in this little movie. Pretty nice little guy. Okay, here's a common green darner, male. There you go. Here's one I've never seen before. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll find out. And splice it into the film. Green dragonfly, I don't know if he's on the I have him on there or not. Again, my little dragonfly. I'm a neat little guy. I wish I could see in the viewfinder better. I think I have him right there. Hi, buddy. What you up to? What kind of dragonfly are you? It's pretty neat. He's new, a new species for me. This is Freeborn County, Minnesota. Good enough. I checked my book and it's a female blue dasher. A really beautiful little specimen. 